Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for some empties. I've got a big box of empties here that's mostly full of bulky things. So it's not actually that much here. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it. Empty products I've finished up and mini reviews. Uh, so this is the Inbachi Nourish Hand Wash. This was quite nice. I'm pretty much the only person in my house who actually uses hand wash, like liquid soaps. Um, everyone else just uses soap, so it takes me a really long time to go through these types of products, which is fine, because it means I don't have to buy them too often. This Imbachi one is really nice. Imbachi is an Australian company, um, and you know, they make really nice skincare and some luxe, like, hand products. I think they also make body products, do they? I think, I think they do. Anyway, this one was nice. Really soft scent. It's kind of like a, what would I call that? Sort of like, it's almost like a green floral. Like there's the freshness of green stuff. Uh, a little bit planty, but also a little bit floral. Um, I liked that one. I'd totally buy it again. Face mists. <laughs> I have four of them. Uh, so in... When was it? In July, I did a live chat where I did 100 layers of face mists. And um, the reason I did that was because it was suggested that I do it and I thought it was funny. Um, so I had some wine and did 100 layers of face mists. Um, throughout that video, I managed to finish up these three. Um, this one was in my project pan. So this is the Power 10 Formula Nutrition Mist. I finished that before I even did that um, face mist video. Uh, this one's really nice. I love the It Skin Power 10 face mists. They're all nice. I haven't used a single one that I didn't enjoy. And they also have a uh, micro mist up, which is really nice. Another one that I finished was the Aven O Thermal uh, Spring Water. Thermal Spring Water. Um, I should point out that, like, these were all heavily used anyway. This one was basically finished and I just didn't even realise it. But the um, Aven Thermal Spring Water, I really enjoy. I would buy that again. Um, this one is a BioEffect Osa Water Mist. So um, this is. This is your bougie, your bougie face mist. Um, I do have another one of these, which I will use and happily enjoy. Uh, but this is a very, very basic uh, face mist that it doesn't like set your makeup. You can use this as skincare as well. So it's more like skincare benefits rather than like makeup setting mist, but I do enjoy that one. Another one that is uh, considered like a, a skincare type mist is from Grown Alchemist. This is a Hydra mist with desert lime and amino peptides. I do use this as like makeup finishing mist and um, as a a skincare mist as well that one's really nice good little like small bottle too so good for travel that's actually my second one of them that I've used up I really enjoyed it okay bulky stuff oh I hate this shit this is the chic hydro sensitive shave gel so I actually purchased these were on sale and I purchased them sometime last year when my brother needed razors and I um I purchased myself one of these and I purchased one for my brother. My brother doesn't use shaving gel. I found out the hard way. So I used mine on my legs. This is one of those. So it says it protects and soothes. Um, but I think the way that it soothes is that it has like cooling ingredients in it. Um, don't use this. Like I used it on my underarms and I... <laughs> Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. I don't like the feeling of it. So I only use this on my legs and I just don't really shave my legs that much because nobody's seeing them and I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks anyway. So um, I just, yeah, I, I wouldn't buy this again. I just use like whatever I've got in my shower, usually a body gel. Like I don't fucking, I will never buy shaving gel again. I won't. I just, I'm, 
No. Okay, I've got another body product here. This is the Calvin Klein CK2 Hair and Body Wash. <laughs> I can tell you now, I did not use this in my fucking hair, and I never would. Um, but I did use it on my body, and it, it was a nice body wash. It's just, like, it's one of those body washes when you buy, like, a perfume pack, and it comes with the perfume and a body wash and a body lotion. Body lotion I've already used up. Body wash was next, and uh, I love the CK2 scent. I wouldn't actively buy that again, um, but... I enjoyed it. Okay, I have some brush washing things here. Uh, this is the Shuomura uh, brush cleaner. So this is like an alcohol product uh, that you can use to spot clean your brushes. It was terrible. <laughs> it was really bad. I don't understand how it was so bad. It's like isopropyl alcohol, um, alcohol, ethyl acetate, macadamia seed oil and something else i i don't know so usually i just use isopropyl alcohol to wash my brushes um and i buy it in bulk i buy it from the hardware store for christ's sake uh because it's the cheapest way to buy it i don't need it to contain like any conditioning agents because i actually know how to look after my makeup brushes i know how to clean them well, clean them carefully, make sure that they're like being respected. Um, so isopropyl alcohol I use to spot clean a brush in between um, using it. So let's say I've used this eyeshadow brush and I want to get off the excess product. I just use a tiny bit of isopropyl alcohol on tissue, wipe it off, brush is spotless, and then I deep clean it um, like properly after a few uses but this just doesn't really i don't understand how this is so bad it just didn't really work <laughs> so there's that i wouldn't buy that again um daiso puff and sponge you guys know i love this stuff um i've been using it for years and i have multiple backups in my house and I will continue to use it. These are compressed sheet masks from Daiso. So it was a packet of 10 and essentially you take a, one of the little sheet mask tablets and you pop it in this well and then you use whatever you want to rehydrate it. Um, I usually use serums or maybe like a moisturizing toner or something like that. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, look, they're not, it's not something that I would actively buy forever and ever and ever and use over like ready-made sheet masks. Um, I just find them really handy for using up uh, excess serum. So if I've got like four bottles of serum open and something's gonna like go bad or oxidize before I can get to it, that's when I will whip these out. I have another packet of compressed sheet masks uh, in my stash. Uh, so I'm not looking to buy any now. And I, I'm not sure that I would actually like actively buy this packet. It's not that it was bad or anything. Um, it's just that I know from Muji you can get more of them uh, and I believe they work out to be a better price. So yeah, but these were good. And I've got to say having this like perfect size well is great. So I'm, I'm going to hold on. I might actually just like, I don't know, cut this part off so I can keep that. Um, so yeah, anyway, they're good. I have, uh, cotton pads here from a brand called Beauty Artisan. I believe this is a Korean brand. Wow, it really just does not say. There's not a lot of info on this. Um, I think, I think they're Korean. Anyway, these were, um, interesting. Not, not like any cotton pad that I'd used before. It was a different texture. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I wouldn't get them again though. I felt like they just weren't, like once they got wet, they got quite thin. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them again. Um, some more cotton pads. These ones I would buy again and I, I believe I have repurchased these since. Uh, these are the Real Care Square cotton pads. So these are sort of your traditional style cotton pads, but they're not actually square. They're rectangle. Rectangular, okay? Uh, anyway, it's a packet of 120 um, good value. I actually buy them from 
my like beauty trade store. I'm so glad that I managed to go there before uh, lockdown around two in Australia. Um, otherwise I'd be buying them from the supermarket and they cost a fucking bomb. Um, so anyway, I really like these and I'll continue to buy them. I have a candle, a glasshouse candle. This is Taha. It is vanilla caramel, is that right? Yes, vanilla caramel. So this is probably like, it's right up there with one of my favorite traditional scents from Glasshouse. It's so good. It's so good and it has such good scent throw. Like the scent of this when I burn it fills my whole house. So I love that. I do have another one, I believe. I believe I have an unopened one. Uh, if I don't, then it's okay because I've got a crap load of other glass house candles. Um, but I would totally consider repurchasing this one in the future. I consider it a bit of a staple candle in my collection. It's great. Okay, let's do some more skincare. So this is from Course RX. It is a triple hyaluronic moisture ample. So this is basically, it's a face serum um, and it is... Hyaluronic acid and pro vitamin B5 and the triple hyaluronic part is hyaluronic acid with three different size molecules so it absorbs to or treats different like layers of the skin essentially. Um, I really like this. It, it does feel a little bit sticky on the face. That was probably something that I didn't really love about it um, but it's a sort of thing like I would happily use it again like it, it didn't bother me that much things like serums like this I feel like you know I would buy it again and I don't have a problem with that but my issue is I'd be more inclined to be like oh I want to try hyaluronic acid from that brand that I haven't tried before or that brand so that's my issue with skincare I really like to like move on and try things that I enjoy from other brands. So I know I like hyaluronic acid or I know I like rosehip oil. So I want to go and try it from different brands and see how they compare. But I did like that. I would buy it. CourseRx make beautiful skincare. Um, this is the Myzon Multifunction Formula All-in-One Snail Repair Cream. I love the snail lines from Myzon. They make beautiful products. Um, this was not hydrating enough for my face though. So I whacked this baby on my body and I gave it a good old snail shot and uh, I liked it. It was fine. But uh, at this point I would not repurchase this one because it wasn't hydrating enough for my skin. Uh, good Molecules. This is the pure cold pressed rosehip seed oil. This is really nice. I think my only issue with uh, their oils is they are only 13 mils. I go through these so quickly, like so, so quick. I apply oil to my face twice a day because she dry and she need it. Um, so 13 mils is like not enough for me. Uh, I go through it really, really quickly, but the formula is good. I really think that these would be well suited to people who like to use oil, maybe in their nighttime routine a couple of times a week. It's going to last you a decent amount of time and they are very affordable. So there's that. I can say this little size, great for chucking in your travel bag. Nobody's traveling at the moment. Well, I'm certainly not, but based like the size of it is handy for that kind of thing. Okay, I have these two things. This one here is the BRTC V10 Powder Cleansing Tea Bag. So this is like a giant tea bag uh, that has a foaming formula in it and uh, I believe it also has lavender in it. Um, now, these are kind of fun and cool and they're individual products so you know there's a lot of packaging there um, but I've got a bunch of them and I've been using them here and there and I really quite like them. Um, the lavender is not my favorite part. I'm not, I'm not like I'm not really a massive fan of lavender. It's one of those things for years and years and years it used to trigger migraines in me so when I smell it now it like it kind of makes me feel a bit like Ugh. 
Um, so there's that. These are effective and what I particularly like them for is a super gentle exfoliation. Now they're not designed to exfoliate but because they're in like a mesh type bag um, there's like there's something that you can actually sort of use to gently exfoliate your skin manually. And I like that because isotretinoin, my skin, it sheds. So having something that can like gently exfoliate and clean at the same time is really nice. You could totally use like, compare it to a fa using a face wash, like a terry towel face wash. Um, except I would say that this is a little... Similar but different. It, it's the only way that I could really like compare it to something. So after using these for a little while, like I've used a couple this year, I believe, I don't think I would actively purchase them, but I'm enjoying using them every now and then. Okay, this one is KNC Beauty. It's a collagen infused lip mask. These were uh, gifted by a Beauty News subscriber and I tried one out can't use them on my lips. My lips are too sensitive now. Uh, I get a bit burny. But what I want to try and do, because I've got a few more, um, I want to cut them. So if you look at this picture, the mask legitimately has like a gap in this sort of area. Like that's exactly what the mask looks like. So you can still talk and do all of your stuff with it on. Um, so what I want to do with the next one that I try is cut them off here and I want to see if I can use them as smile line masks um, and see how they go there. Because I didn't, when I was wearing it, I mean you can see it's quite big, when I was wearing it I didn't have any issues with the skin that was around my lips that it was touching it was just my lips so I think my lips are just too sensitive too sensitive um I'm I'm not even sure if this is something that I can like buy in Australia but I've got a bunch of them so I'm just going to use what I've got I'm not really a lip mask kind of person like hell I have to literally force myself to put sheet masks on my face so you know lip masks not a priority um the last things that I have, oh my god, first let's talk about this rank thing. This is, uh, uh, it's a, <laughs> come on brand, Real Techniques, Real Techniques, Miracle Complexion Sponge. This was one of the ones that is like, it's got the glitter on it. Um, this looks rank. I, I've used it to death. I use all of my sponges to death. Like, look at, <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. I'm happy with it. I've got a crap load of sponges so I'm not in the market to buy any at the moment um, and if I was going to buy some I'd probably just buy the um, Ella Cosmetics ones because they're amazing um, or I'd buy Nakia Joys uh, to support you know a fellow person with a small business um, so yeah they're, they're kind of my faves but I do like those real technic ones they're good Makeup items. I've got two samples. Let's do them first. MAC Prep and, Pri blah, blah, blah. Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. This is in Radiant Yellow. This is nice. I consider this sort of like a... It's almost like a priming moisturizer. That's, that's how I'd put it. This is the type of thing, if I was a freelance makeup artist, I would have this in my kit so that uh, when someone sat at my... Uh, chair and their skin was not in good condition this would be the first thing that I would go in with that's the kind of product that this is um, but I don't feel like you necessarily need it if you are confident with your skincare and do a good job of looking after it the next item is from NARS this is the all day luminous weightless foundation in the shade God, I know. I think it's Santa Fe. Yes, Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Um, I like this foundation. This shade isn't perfect for me, but I like the formula formula of this. Good coverage uh, without being like thick or heavy on the skin. My only issue is it creases so much on me, like a lot. So there's that but I did enjoy it this is from soap and glory it is the sexy mother pucker lip gloss in rosé and shine I really like these lip glosses um they just 
they stay on the lips for a really long time and they hydrate well i'm gonna kill that fly i'm gonna kill it i'm gonna kill it i really hate when flies invade my personal space okay let's continue because this is my second to last product uh this stays on the lips really well hydrates so well um it also has a really like it's an intense minty like feeling on the lips so be aware of that because i know not everyone likes the minty feeling um i like minty i don't like the burning ones when they use like um capsicum oil or something in them i no 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 but this is good this i like i do have another one of the i think i have this in two other shades um the problem with it is that they're more like uh intense colors i think i've got a red and maybe a purple i don't know but anyway this one was really easy to use because it's a nice soft pink um yeah i liked that i i use the ones that i've got i would i buy look i i might i wouldn't you know never say never that i wouldn't buy one again but i've got so many lip products and let's be real I'm more inclined to, if I need a lip gloss, I'm more inclined to be like, oh my God, I want to try the new ColourPop formula. Or I want to try the new blah from blah. So, you know, th there's that. Uh, and my last item is the Becca Afterglow palette. This was in my project pan and I finished it. I finished every single shade in here except the blush, which was Flower Child. It was bright fucking pink. Um, so yeah, that, the, the blush I dug out and I got rid of it and everything else I used. There was two, uh, highlighters. There's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Moonstone and Rose Gold. I mix them both together and sort of use them in unison. Uh, and then there was the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Topaz and the Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. Um, and I mixed those two together and used them as a bronzer and I loved it and we got along great and it was a match made in heaven. We, it was a good time. Okay guys, so that is it for my July empties, July 2020 empties. Uh, I was a little bit concerned at the start of July that I just didn't really have anything that was going to like be used up in July and then the dominoes all fell in place and I've got a full box of stuff so I'm really happy with that. I've got to admit after years and years of doing empties and having like consistently good empties most months it's very rare that I don't do an empties every month I actually find myself getting stressed now when I look at what I'm using and I'm like oh no am I like am I gonna fin finish anything this month like I have to finish stuff I have to use up the shit that I've got um so yeah it's it's very satisfying to sit here and talk about my empties for half an hour because it makes me feel accomplished and it also helps to alleviate the guilt that I feel over the years and years of purchasing so much stuff and uh, I'm feeling like I just can't use it all. So it's nice to see some, like a full box of empties on my floor. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your comments down below. How are you going with your empties? Did you have a successful month or not so successful? It doesn't matter. Either way, you just got to you know, take it as it comes. Um, that's it. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.